Regarding nucleic acids, uh, for a successful transfection, the nucleic acid should be of high purity and endotoxin-free. The nucleic acid should also be validated for full-length sequence. For plasma DNA, one should try several promoters, as a promoter's effectiveness often depends on the cell type. CMV and EF1 alpha are generally considered to be strong promoters and good all-around promoters, and therefore a good place to start. Plasmid size is also a concern, as large plasmids, those greater than 15 kb, may not be as effectively delivered as smaller plasmids. For RNA interference, it is a good idea to use pooled siRNAs instead of a single sequence. This will allow for more efficient knockdown and less off-target effects. A few notes about experimental design. Uh, DNA and RNA lengths should be verified uh, be before use as improper storage can often lead to nicked or degraded DNA or RNA. If you're trying for a stable transfection, you may get better incorporation if you use linearized DNA rather than coiled DNA. You should always use a positive control such as an empty GFP plasmid or RNAi for housekeeping gene like GAP-DH. For a negative control, you can, all, you can use an empty plasmid or scrambled siRNA. DNA or lipids can themselves be toxic, so you should have a condition with only DNA or RNA added and one with only lipid added. Toxicity can show up as cell death or morphological changes. And you should always run your assay with replicates to confirm your results.